Hi, when you have a new project in mind that needs a display, just how do you go about selecting which display to get? There is a huge array of display types, sizes, and sources available, how do you choose? This video will help you decide what type of display you will need. There are several mistakes and traps you can fall into when choosing a display. The biggest being long-term supply. It's very tempting to go to a cheap Chinese supplier and buy a screen. This is a big mistake, quality is never assured and production life will be short. A panel available today will not be available next month, forcing you to change your design again and again. RDS only uses suppliers with long-term supply, so any display we recommend will be available many years into the future. The next factor to consider is where it will be used. What is the operating environment? Is it an indoor or outdoor display and will it be mains or battery powered? Outdoor use requires high brightness, UV protection, and weather sealing. Mobile use with a battery requires displays with low power consumption, so e-paper or MIP displays are better suited. Operating temperatures and vibration are also factors to consider as many technologies have limited ranges and resistance to vibration. Other factors to consider are touch and driver interfaces and what type of display content you need. You may only need to display numbers or letters allowing the use of low-cost 7-segment displays. If you need full graphics then the resolution of the display will be important. Other factors to consider are viewing angles, protection from abuse, refresh rates and the overall cost of the target unit. Some display types are not suitable for fast-changing images and it's no use choosing a screen that will be too expensive at volume to include in your device. At this point, you should know the size, resolution, target cost, power requirements, how it will be driven, touch interfaces required, brightness, refresh rates and temperature range needed. Now you have an idea of what you need, you can start the selection process by eliminating displays that don't match your needs. Your choices are passive LCD, TFT displays, OLED, character modules, e-paper, electro-luminescence, and MIPS displays. In the next video, we will go through the advantages and disadvantages of each type. If you would like to discuss with us your project or any of the display types above then please get in touch on 01959-563-345. If you like this video then please like and subscribe.